Now, I want to talk about this past weekend's uh, big super match between Gennady and your dad. Um, have you spoken to your dad since that match on the phone? Yes, yes, I have. I've talked to him a bit about it. And uh, where is he at mentally? Is this uh, this messing with him, this loss? Uh, is he okay with it? Where do you consider him being mentally with it? Yeah, so so I feel like, like he's accepted it. He's okay with it. It, it happened the way it did. but but he knows he made a couple mistakes in a couple different areas. And I, I don't know if he's watched the match back yet, but he, he, he immediately told me, he's like, yeah, I made a couple mistakes and they lost me the match. So, so he was telling me that he, he really wants this rematch and yeah, he's okay with it. it and Gennady was the better man that day. He out arm wrestled them and, and it was, uh, yeah, he, he's in total, He's very, very proud of Gennady, and he's very happy for Gennady. And he he puts on a big show of ego and all this different stuff for the public. But in reality, he's he just love he loves arm wrestling and anything he does. And anytime anybody beats him, he's very proud of him. Where do you think he made his mistake? So there was a couple things I feel that that he could have done a little bit better. Is so first match it happened uh, where he, he totally dominated him. And everything he did there seemed pretty good. He he tried started draining him and he tried to drain him. Then there was a foul in the restart. And and I can't blame him for what happened next because he probably tried to do the same thing. But Gennady switched it up a lot this time, went for the flop and pushed him off the back. So after that loss, uh, he switched his he switched his idea around and he pressed him, which was the right thing to do. But there was a couple adjustments that I saw when they were really locked in, where he'd kind of adjust and he'd lose a bit. He'd bring his elbow forward, but he'd lose too much. And there was one where I saw he lost too much and he had to foul to restart. And there was a couple of situations like that where I felt some of his adjustments weren't perfect and he probably didn't have to do them and they, and they lost position overall. But it's hard to tell exactly whether that was just a mistake or if Gennady was just too strong. So it'll be good to go over it with him and then he can offer more insight. Now, do you feel um, the referees played a factor during that? Because there's a lot of talk of... Uh, people saying that Devin got robbed, you know, that the referees were calling a foul that didn't actually happen. I uh, believe in round one, Do you mm -hmm. uh, consider he got robbed from the referees. Yeah. So uh, I don't ever like the bad mouth referees because it's a very difficult job in arm wrestling. You don't always know when the, when the athletes even telling you the truth, they can be all pissed off and it can be a total facade. But I, I think there was, there was a couple mistakes made that definitely impacted the match. I can't say for sure whether or not the outcome would have been any different because who knows, who knows whether Gennady would have adjusted in different ways or, but I would have done different things. Nobody can say for sure exactly how the match would have went if, if that foul hadn't been called. So I, I, I can't put too much fault with referees because at the end of the day, Gennady still did win three matches. So, so that's the, that's, I'm going to say that referees, played they played a part for sure but they weren't the determining factor now do you think it was a surprise to your father that Gennady went into that flop press do you think he expected that at all um I think he did expect it for a bit but but I don't think he expected it like that early I think that he's probably like first round went almost exactly how he thought it would but a little less pressure he thought he was telling me I think he, he was gonna like catch him out low and probably King's move and work from there but the flop coming out second round, that was very interesting. I don't think he expected that at all, and that threw him off a bit. But but I don't know for sure. He probably thought – I'm sure he thought of every single possible possible scenario, but it happened the way it did. His flop was was incredible that day. So, yeah, who could say for sure? Do you think he needs to train uh, change anything if they get the rematch? Do you think he has to do a different training method? be more prepared for Gennady what Gennady throws at him or does he just need to get stronger what do you think he needs to work on to guarantee a win for the next one so I think the outside option was easy that was no problem Gennady clearly first round tried to go outside and just had nothing you can see like it, it nothing happened nowhere 
no war in no world was Gennady taking his hand. That just wasn't going to happen. So immediately after that, Gennady went for the flop, and that and that ended up working. But I feel like he's got to add more more inside game for the Gennady rematch because that's clearly where the fight's going to go. He, Gennady's not going to try to take his hand again and expect a different result. He's going to very likely just flop him again. And so if he can get that supination and cup much stronger and get that shoulder commitment in better, work on training for that. And I think, I think the outcome will be very different. Yeah. I think he has to get that shoulder in kind of like what he did at WAL against Jerry Catteret. You yeah. know, he just kind of stuffed Jerry and didn't allow Jerry to get that shoulder behind mm-hmm. him. And I think that's what gave him the victor that day. But it seemed like the referees were kind of on top of him this match. Yeah. And, uh, they kept trying to, to square him off. And, uh, you know, whoever was on the right side of the referee was able to get that shoulder, you know, a little behind their arm and all. So um, I think he's definitely going to have to just, you know, work on that um, angles, you know, and figure a way to get that shoulder behind. You know, that's mm-hmm. just my personal opinion. And um, what do you think, man? Uh, do you think there's anything else that he could have did differently? Um, maybe being more aggressive, maybe going after the hit first. Do you think that could have maybe changed the outcome around? Um, I, I'm not sure. Cause in some matches he did, he did hit first. I think it was, was the second round or so when, when he just pressed him with a flash press really all the way straight in. And, and, and that, that seemed to work very well, but it's very taxing to do that. So you can't do that every round and just keep it working. The thing about Gennady is, is if you commit fully shoulder and, and give away everything else, Gennady's a very smart arm wrestler and, and he probably, he might work around and switch it up. He might try to take the hand and, move things a little bit differently but um yeah i i can't say for sure uh i can't say for sure that he could have done anything differently with the strengths that he had i feel that that was one thing that the refs weren't perfect on was the shoulder commitment they seemed to to not really notice gennady's shoulder was way back and the other one forward and and they 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 like almost fouled my dad out for just attempting to get his shoulder like near to match gennady's so that was definitely a big factor in the match as well, the ability to commit your shoulder. And it seemed like Gennady just, just was able to get his, his in more. Whether or not that was ref-related or strength-related, hard to tell exactly. Yeah, do you think that, because uh, a lot of people are saying the refs were a little biased, and uh, you know, I, I seen the same kind of thing. It was kind of like they, they were on top of Devin getting his shoulder behind his arm, where with Gennady, they were kind of allowing it. You know, I don't know if it was maybe because after that first round, you know, they seen that, you know, your dad was dominating and maybe they wanted to make it a, a better match by doing that. Do you think that could have had something to do with it or they just didn't notice? I feel that likely what happened is after the second match it seemed like like he really had his shoulder in the setup and the refs most likely realized that and they realized they kind of made a mistake and they're like, oh, we can't let that happen again. And, and after that, they, they realized he's trying to do it again. So they really started to lock in on him, making sure that he could do it again. But they, they might have overlooked Gennady. And I, I can't say for sure without having the footage in front of me. I don't remember it exactly, but I think, I think they did the best they could. It's a very difficult match to referee. Very, very difficult. Devin and Gennady, both incredibly smart in arm wrestling. And that's a ref's nightmare match right there. That's a, that's a terrible match to referee. So they did. They did the best they could, and I personally don't think it was it was like they wanted Gennady to win and they were biased to that. I think they just they might have made a mistake. Yeah, I agree. I think that uh, with the refing, you know, these guys were originally WAF, you know, and everything was so strict and everything they would call. But when we started East versus West, we didn't want to go with that approach. We wanted to make it more friendly for non-arm wrestlers to watch and for them to mm-hmm. understand. So, you know, we were going to be a little more lenient. So I think with, you know, going from one extreme to another, it is definitely tough to be a referee. You don't know which, what's the right way to do it. And it, it's like a learning process. We're still learning what is the best rule set and, and the best uh, strictness to use to get all non-arm wrestlers interested. Because when you start calling all micro fouls and, all this mm-hmm. other crazy, a lot of non-arm wrestlers, we lose a lot of interest. So I definitely understand, you know, the circumstances that they're in. So I wouldn't want to put too much blame on the arm, uh, the arm wrestling refs, 
you know, and then the other thing that it looks like Engen is going to be doing is he's going to be adding one of the West referees from now on will always be part of the super matches, which I think is also a fair and great thing to do. I think that I think that's an excellent idea, just because then it's 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 more East versus West. It's not just East versus West, but the East has the refs. This way, it's 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 very balanced. I think also a way you could do it is every match has one East ref and one West ref. And that way it's it's it'll be a lot more fair. And it's very hard to accuse people of bias when you have both sides participating. So I think Engen's making an excellent call with that one. And it'll just it'll just help. I think I think it'll just make everything better. I totally agree with that.